D'Lo, I'm going to come to you next. You're the guest on the show, so I'm going to come to you next. After two games of Zach Wilson, the Jets will trade for a new quarterback. Fact or cap? Yeah, that's fact. Like, they, this is this is a team, yeah, they, they've got to – They've got to win games. It's tough to – I mean, Brody threw three interceptions on Sunday. Like, that's tough. Like, that's tough. And I wanted to believe, you know, I wanted to believe that he could do something, like, to bare minimum, like, not even a lot. Yeah, he – it really feels like he can't do anything. And I kind of I, – I feel for him in the sense, like, expectations are, are sky high. I think – you 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 probably have one more week. You're sitting at one and one. You were able to steal that opening night game, and good for you. Uh, but you're sitting at one and one now. You could probably put Zach Wilson out there one more time and, and and see what it looks like. But if he can't net you some results, if he can't bring you something back positive from this third game, this third week of the season, you, you need to go. I'll, I'll take it a step further. You need to go into week three with an idea of what to do if it doesn't go well. Like if that you you need to know who that first call is going to be on Monday. You have to know exactly who that first call is going to go to, whether it's uh, a free agent or it's a team. You're going to have to figure something out. Um, but I think they'll they'll let Zach rock one more week. But I think that's all they have to play with is one more week. All right, Gary, I'm gonna come to you next. Factor cap after two games of Zach Wilson, the Jets will trade for a new quarterback. I'm going to go fact here, too. I don't know if it's going to be next week just yet. I think the way the coach has been talking, they might give him one more extra week deal out. I just feel like they've been – also, also like you said, depending on the timing when they get this new guy to implement him and get him rock, rocking and rolling with this team, I think it's going to matter, too. And to be honest with you, I really think so because, hey, if they want to make the playoffs and I'm quote-unquote, if Aaron Rodgers said today or hinting towards that, you know, he might come back, he's like, miraculously by playoff time, which I don't see happening, but for somehow, some way he can make that happen. And God does him a big favor on that one. They're going to have to be somewhere in the contention. As we know, Buffalo had a bounce back game this week. Y'all know Miami's over there cooking already. So they're going to have to get things rolling here and try to get some wins while they can. And Zach Wilson, as we've seen, is not the answer right now. So I feel on you too. I was really hoping that he can do something, but he's looking lost out there. And I feel bad because hopefully you was hoping that, you know, the plan would be Aaron Rodgers grooms him and then he can, you know, in a couple of years, take that mantle. But timing's everything. And right now it's at his time. And the Jets have a really good squad where, especially that defense where, and some weapons, as we can see with Wilson and Garrett Wilson, that if they can get a compliment quarterback, like we've seen tonight, like, a, well, obviously not going to take him, but a guy like maybe who, uh, I'm thinking uh, it's the Saints quarterback, Derek Carr, you know, who can just come in and do some small things and, you know, put some wins together. I feel like I don't know if that guy's out there right now for that call to be made, but they're going to need to switch something up for this team to get some W's here. Trey Lance. All right, Sean. I'm going to come to you next, Sean. After two games of Zach Wilson, the Jets need to trade for a new quarterback. Factor cap. Uh, I say that this is cap solely for the fact that Robert Sala said right after the Aaron Rodgers injury, both after the game and then in his post game pre- or his his press conference during the week leading up to Week Two, that Zach is our guy. Zach is who we're rolling forward with. And let's not forget that they spent the second overall pick on him. Like Toddy was all about Zach Wilson, and oh, even, even I was too. I, I wanted anyone but McCorkle, but. When I thought that Zach Wilson was a lock to go number two, I realized I wanted Justin Fields. The Niners went with Trey Lance, who I think is out there. If they were to look for a new quarterback uh, for a cheap price, they'll they'll definitely get more than the Niners got from the Cowboys, just given uh, the leverage that the Cowboys would have over the Jets. But to me, I'm gonna say cap just based on what Robert Sala said. But maybe I'm I'm being naive, especially as a journalist taking everyone's word for it. But Robert Sala seems like a stand up guy, so I'm gonna take his word for it and say cap. <laughs> All right, Toddy, I'm going to come to you next. After two games of Zach Wilson, the Jets need to trade for a new quarterback. Fact or cap? Uh, I'm going to say this is a fact. Um, we, the, we saw what Zach Wilson looked like last year. Um, that defense is going to put them in every single game possible. I think they have a top five defense. Um, we saw it on Monday night, all the turnovers that they caused to Josh Allen, the cover boy of Madden, and how much of duress that they put Josh Allen under. And, um basically just the air being taken out of the stadium, literally four plays into the game. And you kind of just saw just the duration of the game and just, man, if Aaron Rodgers was on this team, this team would, the defense would make it so easy on Aaron Rodgers. I'm just constantly being able to give them possession after possession after possession and them 
They just need to score. Like they can't even move the ball. Like it's hard for them to for Zach Wilson to, to go in and just like <laughs> it's it's bad. Like he's either getting sacked or he's making a bad read or he can't find anybody down the field or he's just airmailing a guy. It's just we saw what Zach Wilson was in the end. Going into last year, a lot of people – it was Mike White's team at one point in time. Mike White was supposed to be the same here, more. and he was supposed to be doing this, that, and the third, and they were supposed to go to the playoffs with Mike White. And we saw where that that went. And, um, man, I just – it's hard to say that, yeah, Zach Wilson's going to be the guy. Like, can they win? Like, how many games are they going to win if Zach Wilson is the quarterback for this team the rest of the year? Like, are they going to win five games? Are they going to get a top – five to ten pick like it's gonna be bad because they literally can't move the ball and we saw how good garrett wilson could be and you know him having the sole touchdown that the jets only scored um this past sunday and just how talented that he is and you know the running games they have and Brees hall he didn't get enough touches dalvin cook i feel like their team is very good it's just literally the the whole quarterback situation so go back what sean was saying uh guys that should look at trey lance could be a guy um, maybe the Cowboys were, you know, zigging when everybody was zagging and grab, grabbing a guy um, who's young and unproven and, you know, doesn't have a lot of snaps, but, you know, has a lot of potential. And ultimately he's not going to play if Dak Prescott can help it because if he's, if, if Dak is healthy, um, he's going to play. And obviously they have Cooper Rush ahead of him, who Damian mentioned earlier in the podcast. Um, Andy Dalton's a guy that's kind of out there. You know, Bryce Young is going to be getting a majority of the snaps you can look at. A guy who I think they should look at is go get my guy down in down in Nolens, Eden W's over there. Uh, James Winston could be a oh, guy that's, that they that's could, what that big apple needs. <laughs> they could uh, they could uh, look at Jameis. Um, he's been a guy who who apparently, according to Jameis, who was balling when he went thirty for thirty that one year, um, throwing thirty touchdowns and thirty picks. <laughs> the only guy in history. Still waiting on the documentary. The only guy in history to do that. So. Um, there's not really that many guys that you, it's a, it's a very short list of people that you can go after. Like I saw Chad Haney was kind of the guy that was in there, but, um, he's retired. You know, I was like, say, he's Chad retired. Haney. Yeah. He's, he's retired. Um, we even saw, you know, reports about Brady. I was like, Brady's not coming back. He's retired. He's not, he's not coming back. Definitely not to the Jets. Um, it's, it's tough. It's a very short list and you're one because the team is so talented, the Jets aren't ready to just put on the season three or two, two to three games in. They're not just ready. To, All right, we'll just draft <laughs> next year. I'm like, whoa, to see if we're still in September, guys. So um, they got to figure out something and, and fast. And I don't think we really need to see that much of more of Zach Wilson. Like, what more can he do? <laughs> that's going to show you. Like, all right, that's enough of Zach Wilson. I feel like last year was like we saw what Zach Wilson was when he got benched for Mike White and whatever the third string quarterback's name is, because he definitely got some snaps in. Um, it's, it's wasn't it Joe Flacco? It wasn't Joe Flacco. It was, it was a different guy. I, I don't know what his name was, but they can't score. And when you can't score, you can't win games. No matter how many times your defense can stop the other team from scoring, if you cannot score, then you're not going to win. So Zach Wilson is very incapable of moving the ball down the field and then being able to put points on the board. So I feel like they need to find something and they need to do it fast. Teddy Bridgewater. He's in Detroit. Two glove Teddy, man. So I'll be the last person to ask this question. Fact or cap, after two games of Zach Wilson, the Jets need to trade for a new quarterback. 100% <laughs> this is fact. They traded for a new quarterback because they already didn't believe in Zach Wilson. They gave up arguably the first round pick, but now it's going to become a second because Aaron Rodgers is going to play 75% of the snaps. So if you're giving up a first round pick on a guy that you drafted second overall, that shows that you don't believe in him. Like Ty said, how, how much more do we have to see of Zach Wilson? We see this Jets defense that is playing lights out. Sauce Garner is one of the best corners in the league. You have this offense, Toddy, or just uh, Gary mentioned Garrett Wilson. You have the weapon, Brees Hall coming back from his ACL, Dalvin Cook. It goes on and on and on. You need a quarterback. And what better quarterback than Matthew Stafford? He's being on. He's on quarterback. What? 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 <laughs> hey, man, this is drama. This is what we want. This is in the script. This is what he came to L.A. for. That They were a quarterback away. And look what he did for them. But before I pass it on, I have to answer. I have to throw this out there. Kyler Murray. Toddy didn't like it, so I have to come on the pod and see what the pod is. He's not healthy. Like. Hey, so, Zach Wilson for two more weeks. He's on the IR. He'll be back. Oh, so Kyler's just because he's on. For everybody listening out there, IR does not mean that you're
you're going to come back after four games. This is the minimum amount of games that you have to come back after injury. Kyler Murray tore his ACL last year, and now Kevin thinks, to, oh, he's on IR. He's going to come back in four games. That's not the case. Kyler Murray is probably not going to play the entire season because the Cardinals are trying to tank to probably end up getting the number one draft pick. Exactly. So if you're going to draft a quarterback anyways, might as well get rid of Kyler. The price oh, might be too I thought about. Like, he's probably not gonna you can get Kyler, you can get Kyler, Kyler for a third to get traded in the pass a physical. Yeah, he's but Kyler Kyler got money though. Like that's the difference. Yeah. Like Kyler Kyler's not Trey Lance. Like Kyler's got like a two hundred million dollar price. Yeah, Rogers might over. not come back. This could be your future. Don't. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> they're not, not like Kyler. Huh? I think Kyler's pretty solid. Thought about is Jacoby Brissett and my man Carson Wentz. Oh. Oh, no, no, he's potting. He's potting. I'm potting for Cheryl Carson. I just have to throw my man some love. Give him, a new, get him a new pair of shorts. Yeah, Kevin be potting. <laughs> <laughs>